Alrighty, so it seems like the wheat has grown out for a good section at least, a good portion. So that's all good. What we'll also be doing is we'll go ahead and buy the second field. Oh, it's really our third one, but it's still my second one because I joined these two up. So let's go ahead and buy this. I'm sure the purchase of the solar collector will ruffle a few feathers. It's still not uploaded yet, that video, but I'm sure it will ruffle a few feathers because, like, there's so many people wanting me to buy different things. It's kind of getting annoying now. Obviously, I need a much better harvester, but I just don't have the money for it yet. I really did think, I like, I really do need that solar collector just to cover the costs. And uh, we can also make a bit of money. I could also just start... Uh, do a bit off screen which I'll start doing quite soon I'll start doing stuff off screen but what we want right now is to get this guy also you can change seeds uh, ooh, campsite. No. I'll also start doing the missions off screen but uh, so it won't be as boring we'll go ahead and uh, seed this second field which we just bought but with what you can do is you can change crops uh, while you're driving around in your cedar, which is a bit, I don't know, I think it's a bit like cheating, to be honest. Okay, <laughs> let's just start off with this guy. Just reverse a bit so I get the whole field. Alrighty, unfortunately there does have to be, be a bit of overlap, because like he does, well, it, the left side seems to work out perfectly, but it's just the right side that, like the two of the pins of the cedar seem to screw up for whatever reason. They don't really work. So that's no fun. Um, what else is this guy doing? Okay. Oh, yes. And thank you for all your comments now. I know that four, because I knew there were four cruise control settings. I never knew what the fourth one was. I th thought it was just something really fast for some really good tractors. But it's actually harvesting speed, which is really good to know. It'll, it'll uh, look cool in the video, I'm sure. Having different, uh, well, not different speeds, but having the same speed and going at the same time. And different vehicles going at the same speed working together like it should be in like a multiplayer but we'll be seeding this guy should stay there there we go so this guy will be seeding pretty much this whole episode <laughs> he's gonna take his damn sweet time but we're gonna have a bit of barley and I think I'll start doing some stuff off screen so I will explain what we're doing uh, what else is there to do not much we just need to get this harvester and get this guy to work with you so I can go ahead and get a lot of wheat or oh, miss this little tuft okay so if I start pressing 4 we should be going at the same speed look at that how good is that oh god until I give some mission actually you know what let's cancel the missions there we go no missions because they do get annoying especially ones you don't want to do them and we'll do all the missions off screen. But yes, my next big purchase will be, actually no, it won't be, no, okay. So my next purchase, sorry, will be a cedar. The exact one I'm going for. Let's, let's just slow this down. Cedar. Okay, so the sewing machines. Many of you recommended this. This cultivates the ground as well as seeds at the same time. Uh, I don't really think it's too necessary. I want to get a massive uh, cultivator first. Uh, what I do want to get is the Amazon Canna 6001. I know it's really big and sometimes like uh, when you hire the AI it misses certain areas but like the beginning bits but it's still really good. I really like it especially because it's six meters wide. I really do like it. Now the Amazon Condor, it costs a lot first of all, but uh, some of you recommended it, but it only, uh, well what does it do? Oh no, and this guy, sorry this guy, back to the Amazon canner, it also has a fertilizer. See the problem is I went ahead and I play this game a little bit without saving, just so I can play around a little bit. Uh, this has a fertilizer as, as well, all you need to do is just fill up the cedar so it doesn't really make too much sense. Like, there is a fertilizer there, supposedly. The game says it does. Although, to be honest, I really think the game creators just copied and pasted the descriptions. Because the ground isn't fertilized. Like, the ground doesn't become the fertilized color. Like, the dark brown fertilized color when you use that cedar. So, so 
It would be nice if that was a function there. What I think what they should have done is they should have put so much more in the usage. The description is never the best because I don't honestly there isn't too much of a difference from this Amazon D1 to this Amazon D9 3000. But supposedly it would have been nice if they actually explained it. Uh, supposedly I've been reading in a couple of forums is the better the cultivator or sower the better the yields. So that's something to keep in mind. Let's try to just get this guy underneath. So yeah, especially now, unfortunately, we will be losing a bit of money because we're hiring in game, oh no, in real time, sorry. But the solar collector pays out real time. So it will take a little while before we start making money again off the solar collector. But in the end, it will pay off. And it, I think it was a much better investment than beehives. Because some of you guys were suggesting me to invest in like five or six beehives. Five or six beehives. Let's, let's see. About 120 for six beehives, and we'd be getting $360. 360. Whereas this is 380, and the maintenance is 25 a day. Is eight a day. So it roughly works out to be the same. It's 125,000 actually. But yeah, it works out to be roughly the same. I think it was just a much better investment, to be honest, because it's a lot of money, $380 a, uh, every hour, in-game hour. So let's just get underneath you. So yeah, there's not much going to be happening this episode, so you might want to click out of it. I probably will start going ahead and do stuff off camera. I need to go and get the harvest at Quick Smart. Tell them to stop working, stop being hired. And then we'll just do this little area, and then we'll also get a cultivator and get the cultivators to start working. We just don't want to miss out on all our crop, or potential crop. You've got to love how slow that seed is doing his thing. But by the end of the episode, we should have a fair bit done. Right, let's just do this manually. Please control speed 2. Okay, yes, I know I'm driving too fast, but thankfully we're not cutting anything. I want to go to statistics, let's have a closer look at them while we hire this driver, first of all. Yeah, that should be perfect. It seems like it is. Alright, let's have a closer look at the statistics. We've got lots of corn, a bit of barley, a bit of wheat. This is actually quite nice. It shows us how long we've played so far. We've played for almost five hours, probably by the end of the episode. Probably actually a bit more. And uh, yeah, it shows us how much we've uh, sown and the threshold area, driving distance. We've actually driven a fair amount. And fuel usage. We really need to start threshing a lot more and sowing a lot more. I'm not exactly sure what threshold area means how much, I think, area we have. I think that's what it means. No! Oh, there's a whole line that we're missing. Really? I can't remember that from the start. God, I must have missed that. Okay, anyway. Let's go big tipper. Go ahead and hire the guy again to go ahead and do the area that we missed out on the bastard. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's go to the one with... Sorry for all the tabbing. Actually... I wonder where is my cultivator? Where the hell is that? Oh, there it is. Okay, sorry. I swear to stop tabbing now. So we'll get this guy. A bit of overkill for the cultivator, but... It'll do. We could get one of the really slow ones and... 
Actually, that's that is what we'll do. Because it'll still be a little while yet before we can really cultivate it quickly. There's no need to do it quickly. So I'm gonna have to lower this down. So yeah, there's so many conflicting things. Obviously, I need a better harvester, and that is my priority once I can start getting a lot more money. That is my big priority. And apart from that, well, I'm not going to get any more tractors because that's just a waste of money. Right, let's go hire this worker. We're losing money quite quickly, but that's all good. Finally, the wheat's all done, but <laughs> what the hell is with this section? Oh man, that's not good at all. Let's go to uh, tip up. A big one. Okay, the 80% he automatically puts his arm out. Oh, you're still in the beginning stages. Aren't you cute? Okay, tell this guy to stop working and we'll go ahead and just do this little area. Yeah, at the start he did do everything and then he just missed little bits out. Idiot. And not to worry though. We've got him good. Back and do this little section. I sucks that this little area failed. I can't speed things up because we're still growing. Uh, what I'll do is I will speed things up once this cedar gets to halfway because it'll take its time. Uh, well, our harvester will take its time to get all the way over to halfway because it takes a long with barley, it pretty much takes a one only one row to fill up the whole harvester. That's how much barley you get, which is quite amazing. Let's go get you. Just prepare yourself. And I think maybe I should go ahead and sell some eggs. Let's see how many eggs do we have. We've got three right now. Uh, where do I check how many I've got actually on me? Right, but you already filled up. There's no way. Oh, right, it just stops. I was gonna say, what the hell? Hiring workers is actually quite efficient. I was reading on another couple of forums that um, it's actually cheaper to go ahead and hire a sower than, than it is for the petrol and seed prices that if you do it yourself. That was quite amazing to me to read that, that just hiring a worker would be cheaper. It shouldn't work like that. Maybe it's a bit of a coding problem that they, uh, they didn't really keep in mind. Because at the, at the end of the day, this game only just came out and I wouldn't imagine that they'd have too many beta testers uh, with this. Okay, so maybe we'll get a full tip of full with this field actually. I really do hope so. So let's go back to eggs. Where can we find out eggs? It should be in statistics. Eggs 3. That can't be how much we have. That's how much we're in the pen. I'm sure of it. Oh, whatever. I'm just having a brain blank. Alright, so many of you also want me to get things like a uh, baler. Balers are just completely moronic for right now. There's no, absolutely no need. I probably should be doing wheat. I should just be investing in barley and probably canola. But there's no way I should get a baler right now. I need a much better harvester. That should be my next huge purchase. I think I'll probably have to take out a couple of loans for that as well. 
which the loans, I realized I went ahead and just checked out how the loan system works. You actually start off with the debt. I never realized that. You actually start off with a loan to the bank. And they did not explain that to me at all. They didn't even say anything at the beginning of the game about that, which is so frustrating. Because I try to get $200,000 off the bank, you have a $50,000 loan straight off the bat. It's pretty ridiculous and you're still paying it off. It's pretty cray cray if you ask me. Cruise control for... Oh yeah, I see it is still working quite hard. He'll get there at the end of the video, about halfway. So we'll speed things up a little bit and we'll be able to... Well, hopefully we'll have, harvest this whole uh, field soon. What is your problem? We drove in your way, sorry. All right, it's time to start thinking about money because uh, we are using a lot of it up. We're going to be in debt actually quite soon. We, you do get an achievement if you do go in debt, so maybe we should just stay in debt. Or at least not stay in debt because we aren't in it right now, but just wait till we get there and uh, then sell a couple of eggs or something. Should I fertilize that yet? No. I think I'll wait. Yeah, I'll wait it up. How is that cultivator doing? Oh, right. Yes, I remember. That's why I can't have you. Because you can't turn properly. Because, yeah, he lifts up... He, the idiot lifts up his... Uh, he lifts up the cultivator. Idiot. Absolute idiot. Uh, where's the yellow tipped... There we go, this guy. This guy will get things done quick smart. So yeah, I have given in, I will grow at uh, what you guys say at real time speed and then when you wait until it's growing you go really fast mode. So I'll go ahead and do that, well that's what we're doing with the barley field right now. It's going to be quite tough to do this actually. I could reset everything but that will probably send us even more back. And we don't like it being settled back. Yeah, and there's some sowers that do cultivate. Uh, I've been reading some descriptions of them. Like, uh, what we need to do is just get the tip first. So let's do that. Excuse my tabbing. If only you could hot... I'm sure there... Well, actually, I'm not too sure. But if only there was a way to hotkey uh, different vehicles, that would just make life so much quicker. And it would probably make it less of a headache to watch me. So I have to keep on tabbing between all these vehicles. I wonder what starts happening when you're in debt. Do your workers still work for you? Yeah, okay, so let's go to... Over the back to the shop. Let's, let's go to the sorted by machine type and we'll go to the sellers. Like this one, the Amazon Condor, uh, it's only, it's got a direct seed drill, is designed specifically for use in stubble. Uh, what I've been reading uh, is that this only uh, like cultivates over stubble. At least the way it does it. No, it seeds through stubble, sorry. So, it wouldn't. I don't think it would be able to seed over the wheat that's left behind. So, you'd only be able to do it on uh, barley and canola, supposedly. Is the message that I'm getting through it. Because you can't seed through wheat or the chaff or whatever you've left down below. Well, at least I'm happy at the speed we're doing this at. Couldn't be happier, to be honest. 
even though our harvest is just so ridiculously slow. And here we go, almost at our hundred, final hundred dollars. <laughs> Thankfully we've got like a lot of capital. We've got two fields, which you actually can't sell it. So. But I'm sure, you, yeah, well you can sell pretty much everything else, including your prop, which is nice. Which is pretty much how the game revolves around, what they want you to do. Yeah, I think we'll have to stop this cultivator before he gets down to this row. It hasn't grown out properly. And then over here, we'll grow back some... Oh God. Uh, we'll grow back some canola, I think. And then over there will be barley on that massive field. Oh, and uh, like potatoes. I'm not sure if the guys that uh, do recommend potatoes to me actually know how bad most of the basic potato machines are. But what you have to do is you have to sow the potatoes first. Then you have to use a special machine to cut off the tops of the potato plant. And then you have to harvest your potatoes, but to harvest it, you have to use a special machine, which is here, a Grimmy SC7555 if you want to attach it to a tractor, unless you want to spend half a million dollars, which I just can't justify it right now. But this harvests one row of potatoes. Now one row of potatoes, when you're, say, like this harvester has a length of, say, oops, about six rows. So you do this about, oh, about, I'd say, 50 times. You have to go back and forwards 50 times to harvest a potato crop. It's ridiculous. I'm just going to wait. Before we get into potatoes or sugar beets, you really do have to wait until you have enough money and until you're very well into the late game. But they do pay, they would pay off really, really well. You'd have to, oh, there we go, we're in set now. Very nice. We haven't got an achievement yet. What is this? Should we keep on going in debt? And just wait it out? So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and start some missions. So I'll get out of debt. So this is why I am in debt, because we're not doing those missions. But I'll start doing it, we'll probably be at about 50 grand or so once I finish. This guy's still doing this thing, let's slow down a little bit. You gotta do your thing as well. Well, this episode's getting quite repetitive. So, as I mentioned, keep on mentioning. It will be probably the last time we go ahead and uh, do this on camera. Yeah, so I'll speed time up once we go ahead and finish this field, which shouldn't be too long. I'll actually need to speed it up soon. Just to get that bit done. We'll be damn close to a tip of full. Maybe not exactly a tip of full, but it'll be close. It'll be at like 96% or so. And then here we go. I think this will be the final row. Let's drop it out and see. Barely the final row. We still have that little section over there that we plowed a little bit too much accidentally. Oh, really? 
Alright, so we're going to be coming back for seconds. And we've got that line to worry about. taking him about 25 minutes just to go ahead and do that much. We really need a better saw. Like, right now. But, I'm sure you don't want to see too many missions. I think I'll turn them on. Every two minutes, there we go. Go ahead and get to our harvester. I'm sure I'll put his arm out rather soon. I need to try to go to my text documents and improve the draw distance. I think you can do that in the uh, some documents in the game. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'll probably do a tutorial maybe on the weekend. Well, we're well into debt now. It's because of, I'm not doing those missions. One mission and then we'll be back in the... Uh, green or in the black actually let's just get to the other side because that's where he's going to stop we won't even get to about 96 percent What's our cultivator doing? He's getting close. I think we'll have to stop. We'll st have to stop soon. I don't think just yet. Or next row. Until it gets down here. I think you're going to manage until we get to the end. Actually, maybe you won't. Have to wait and see. Let's see if we'll manage to get to the end without needing the tipper. Oh, no, he needed our help. Just make sure this guy's doing a good job. Um, no, I really don't like those missions. If only you could choose just to set on the grass missions, please. They're really good, whereas the front loader missions are pretty bad. I really don't like the front loader missions. Let's see, what are you going to be doing? Hopefully you don't go over the crop. Oh, that's perfect. Alright, so you're going to have to wait it out. So let's just go back to the cedar. There we go. I'm going to unhire you. And I'll speed up time once we're done. But, uh, because what I want to do is just for everything to go sort of evenly in sections. So we don't get any square patches, because square patches are just annoying. Like this. This is just annoying. We should have been already done on this field. But no. Okay. Let's just reverse it back. Over here to here. Fantastic. And now we should speed up time by a heck of a lot. Let's go to our big tipper. Let's just put him under here. Is that it? Oh, that is it. Okay. Yes. Holy just. Oh. I'm going to tip it all over. Thankfully, it doesn't really matter if you tip it all over. Just waiting on this little bit to grow. Hopefully it won't take too long. Because then I want to get back to my cedar. Um, yes, I'll do that. Oh wait, campsite. Uh -oh. That was a mistake. I should have read that. <laughs> oh, we got time to burn. No real worries. Let's see if there's any sales on this one while we're actually unloading this.
There you go. Now we're ba back to making money because that solar collector right over there is making us a lot of money. So let's go over to here. Right, we gotta go sales through here. Nope, there's nothing. So we've got a late wheat, lots of wheat for a rainy day. I just want my barley to grow. Is there a great demand or something? Oh, no. Wait. Oh, it's still canola, really? Oh, wow, this whole episode, there's still been a great demand for canola. Uh, amusing stuff. Okay, how about now that's all oh, oh, wrong attachment drops? Oh, I can't do anything about it now. So what I'll do is I will go ahead and get this cedar, or fertilizer, sorry. I will spray it on that field. You know what? We'll just make this a real long episode. I'm sure that's what some of you want, or at least a lot of you. Longer episodes, so you get to see the nitty and gritty of the farm. Try to get all of it. So you look at how much money our solar collector is getting when we're, when we're playing at 120 times speed. It's perfect. And there we go. It's all grown out in a massive section. Beautiful. Right, so that will mean that this other thing will be all done. Let's go ahead and just finish this whole field off. We'll be able to do it in three runs. That is just so quick. Okay, and off we go to the final run. Freddie could hire a worker to do all this for us. Oh, wait, if you press home, you have the uh, finance section. Someone said if you press home, then uh, it automatically turns on some work lights or something. Wait, no, that was in Sir. Oh, sorry. Oh, God, what am I doing? I'm paying more attention. Aha! Uh -huh. It is home. Sorry, I was pressing the search. That's, that's kind of cool. Although it's not necessary. But... I just want to get this thing over and done with. We've got just enough fertilizer. Beautiful. Okay. I just spray the rest of it. Where can we spray the rest? There we go. Over there. Okay, that's all done. So, time to put you back. I'll slow you down. No, I don't want you to do anything. No, I need you.
move our cultivator out of the way. Oh, I think we're still going to leave a little section behind. Our... No, 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 we're not. We should actually work out quite well. Okay, so back to the cedar. Are you leaving anything? No, you're not. Very good. Okay, and now we can finally finish culti- oh, well, yeah, cultivating this, because we've finished harvesting, pretty much. Off we go, and well, that will bring an end to this episode, it was a bit lengthy than we thought, but what we'll do, uh, without you guys watching, is I'll go ahead and harvest, or sow the rest of the field, and we'll cultivate this one, and um, I'll probably go ahead and harvest all of that field as well. We'll plant some canola over here and probably we'll come back well once we've got our canola over here. And it's completely grown and we're probably still harvesting that field because it'll take a long, long time. And we'll be doing missions as well, but not in the video. I'll go ahead and do them uh, in the meantime. But thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Why are we doing this at five times speed? I don't know. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.